Chow Isaacs. Um, you can find me on Twitter at I Wear the Crowns. Um, and uh, I am going to be, uh, well, I'm playing through the Python uh, lessons available to you in Minecraft Education Edition. So um, I'm just hanging out here on my dashboard, my Minecraft dashboard. I'm going to go to View Library. Uh, and then lessons, there's this whole subject kit for computer science, and I'm going to go to the Python lessons. Uh, I am on lesson five. So um, these lessons, I guess they were just released in a couple weeks ago, and um, or there was a blog post a couple weeks ago, I should say. I feel like I've seen them before that. Um, but anyway, I'm on lesson five, and I think lesson five starts, um, introduces students to using the agent with Python. So um, each one of these lessons uh, has a brief description of what you'll do, also has some learning objectives. So it looks like for this lesson, we'll be focusing on loops. Okay, and then here's the thing that I really like about um, the lessons that exist in the library. Uh, they just started tagging the lessons. And so um, if you choose one of these tags, so this particular lesson is tagged with computer science and Python. If you click on any of these, either of these tags, it'll take you to all the lessons that have to do with that tag. Okay, so that uh, these are all of the computer science lessons. Oh, I'm back, just takes you back here. I didn't realize that, that's awesome. And Python will take you to all of the Python lessons and it looks like it just takes us back to the section we were just on. So one thing worth sharing before we dig uh, dive into the world is that there is a lesson plan. Okay, when you click on the lesson plan link, this will take you out to the Minecraft education site. I'm not sure that you're gonna be able to see this because I chose to share my desktop. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll say stop sharing to check. No, I said share application window, so you might not be able to see the desktop. So let me go ahead and say stop sharing. Okay, so um, now I have entire screen going so you can see my, um, my Chrome pages and that we have seven minutes and 44 seconds left. So let me go ahead. Um, I think this opened up in, yep, opened up in Edge. And these are Python lessons. So this is the lesson plan that linked from uh, this button in Minecraft Education Edition, so in the library. So this will give you the learning objectives, the guiding ideas, so more details than what's provided on, um, on on the screen in the library. And then here's something really important. If you go here to external references, what you'll see is that there's an educator guide for this lesson. And it'll give you the ideas. It'll give you everything that you need to, if you're going to teach this lesson in class, um, it'll tell you it's 45 minutes. Here are the objectives. Here's the intro. You can speak it right from here. And then uh, there's going to be, you know, uh, it's talking about loops, nested loops, the syntax that you're going to need, and um, the coding activities. Okay, so these, the snippets and um, solutions. Okay, so that's really important uh, because I just discovered that on the last lesson. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll refer to those things in case we need them. So I'm going to go ahead and create the world. Um, you'll see that my import has started. Um, I don't know what this video is going to look like because it's the first time I'm choosing share the whole desktop. I am hanging out on top here, which is kind of funny. All right. So anyway, um, I'm here in the lab. I'm going to go ahead and talk to the CEO. I need to be in the Minecraft. So here's the CEO. Hi, since you've been such a help for the company, I want to show you to your, our newest creation, a robot companion called the Agent. Agent, I love the agent, my favorite character in Minecraft. Uh, the agent can be controlled with code and can help people in every part of day-to-day -day life. It can help you around the house and at work. Laundry agent, dishwasher emptying agent, um, sock picking up agent. Okay, down here, we are testing the agent to help at home. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna pull the lever like it says. And oh, oh, okay. The, oh, what? I just missed that animation. That was kind of awesome. Wait, what if I, what if I didn't, what if I, oh, no, it's not going to do it again. What if, oh, there's no try again. All right. Anyway, so wait, let's see, pull the lever. Nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to talk to the agent. <gasps> the agent is an NPC. Hi, I'm the agent and I'll be your helper and companion throughout this journey. Can you help code me to become smarter? Of course I can. Okay. So now I'm going to go to activity one. All right. 
here we go. Activity one, look at this. Okay, here's a developer. Um, would it be possible to get your help? I need to write some code that will move the barrels from one side to the other. This will greatly help people who can't move heavy objects that easily, but I can't seem to make the agent move correctly. Could you help write some code to help me with this? Okay, great. Let's escape. It looks like once we escape the um, NPC, uh, the agent comes and uh, we're supposed to move the barrels from one place to the other. Okay, so we'll see if we look around this space, it looks like part one is to for this section. Uh, we probably have to pick up this barrel moved it move it to there and then there's a part two on the other side so i'm going to go ahead and press c to launch code builder and um, i see in the background here write some code so the agent will pick up the box and move six blocks forward and then place it forward okay so we have no nothing to help us here except for two uh categories two code drawers okay so we want the agent um, so we see that the agent, there are a few commands available for the agent. And what I think what we're going to say is agent collect all, because that's the first thing we want. And we want it to move six blocks forward and then place it forward. Okay, so we're going to say agent collect all. So that's anything. Let's go back to the agent. We'll say agent move direction and place that in the next line. And it says forward by default and one. So we're going to change that one to six. We need another line of code. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So I get a third line. And then I'll go back to the agent drawer. And I'm going to say agent place and direction as my third line. And by default, it says forward. Okay. So let's hope that that's it. Okay, collect all, move forward six, and place forward. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hit play to compile the code and return to the game. Oh, wow. That was very fast. Very, very fast. Okay, so let's go ahead to part two and see what the... Oh, there he or she is. Oh, same thing. Okay, so whoops, let me move back so I can get a better sense of what's happening here. Oh, maybe we need to put, well, it looks like it's the same. So write some code, part one, let's hit next. That's important, which I learned in the last lesson. Part two, edit the same code so that the agent goes back to the starting point. It needs to do the same thing, but four times. Use a for loop at the beginning. The boxes will be automatically stacked. Okay, so so now we're going to use the loop. So it's just saying have the agent go back to the starting point. Okay, so now um, we want then to add another agent. We'll have the agent move back six. Okay, so agent, oops, well, I could type it, agent move, um, or I could drag the blocks over. So we're going to say instead of forward, whoops, I'm just going to double click, and I'm going to hope that there's something that's called back. So I started typing and um, there's an autofill that or auto suggest, which picks, uh, shows you what will match what you're typing. And then we need a loop. Okay, so I'm going to put this loop at the beginning. I think with the, the text based, well, not I think, with the text based code, um, you have to make sure that your um, your cursor is in the right place when you play some pull something out. Well, let's see. You could do that too. It's so tricky with that. Okay, so for I in range four, pass. So I think that the pass is all the things that will go in the loop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to highlight these four items. And I'm going to tab to indent. And hopefully this will mean that it's sticking it in the loop. Okay, um, so four I up to four, so repeat four times, okay, collect all the items, move forward, place forward, and then move back, oh, wait, not move back one, move back six, because we want it to go back to the start point. All right, I think I'm going to try it, uh, and then I'll look at the hint and see if we got it right. So we're going to hit play to compile the code. One, oh my goodness, look at that. That is nifty. 
four times. We did it. Oh, that's so awesome.